fancy suit for a fancy win, man. Oh man, thank you. Nice, yeah. uh, nice performance tonight. Yeah, thank you. Take us through, um, you know, how it went out there, how you feel. Yeah. I know you were expecting that, but I don't think your opponent was probably expecting that. Yeah, you know, I mean, honestly, I was expecting a first round finish, but I mean, he was just elusive. He got at me in a bad position in the first round, but I'm no stranger to adversity. You know, I weathered the storm, and then going in the second round, off, I just felt like that was all he had. I let him wear himself out a little bit, and I came out in the second and was like, it's my time now. You really did feel he let that much go after after five minutes, huh? Yeah, I mean, I felt like he just gave me his best, and I was like, okay, that's all you got, so let's do this. I, and I just realized, like, you know, he was on my back basically the whole round, and, and even in the second, he was holding on to me a lot, and... You know, I just had to turn up the volume a little bit, let him wear himself out, and just pick up the speed on him, and, and uh, you know, I got the victory. This is such a big moment for you, co-main event. Yeah. Uh, talk us through about, you know, what you were feeling heading into tonight and yeah. where that confidence level was going into the, when you when you walked out to the cage, I guess. Yeah, you know, I mean, I just was having fun. You know, this is so fun for me. I've, I've been in situations where you're in fights and there's no one there to stop it, and it's not, it's not fair. And... Uh, so just getting to do something that I love, the UFC taking such good care of me, me redeeming my life and God just saving me and just giving this message of hope for the people that uh, that's the message I want to give. So I just was having fun and it's all surreal that this is coming into place, but I've been visualizing this for a long time. You came in draped with the American flag. Yes. In the second round, in the third round too, USA chance yeah, started to that go. that was awesome. You were able to hear it and yeah. what did that do for you? You know, it just this was the first time I got to fight in my country in the UFC, and my last fight was in Argen Argentina and in England. So it was just cool to be in my hometown, not my hometown, but my home country, and just to feel the energy from the fans that support me, all the veterans and everyone that just you know represents this country that's patriotic, and everyone getting behind me and chanting that USA. I knew I had to turn it up for them, and I do it for more than just myself. So it always gives me uh, more energy than I think I have. This is your second straight win against an elite Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and yeah. your second straight win against a tough Brazil winner. Yeah. Um, where do you, what do you think that does for you and your confidence, and where do you think it puts you in the division? You know, I think it's gonna um, get a, a number next to my name, hopefully by Monday, and you know, then I'm looking as for a top ten. You know, I mean, Jack Hermanson, man, he he's just killing it right now, and I'd love to get him. Derek Brunson's coming off a big win. I would love to fight him. So either one of those guys come to mind, but anyone in the top ten will do. And you know, I, I want someone too that we can we can really get in a firefight, something really special for the fans, because it kind of is me fighting off these uh, these you know jujitsu guys. And you know, obviously, it's not the most exciting fight, but I'm doing what I got to do to win. You said something uh, post fight about Branson that you weren't that impressed by him. I mean, what about him uh, makes you feel that way? Uh, I just I, I just uh, I feel I can beat him, you know, and I'm, I'm believing it. And once I believe it, you know, it seems to come true. So I'm believing that right now and. Uh, just watching his last fight didn't really impress me that much, and I would like to fight him, so, yeah. When you were on the, in the Canary Islands, or on yeah. the Canary Islands, you yeah. envisioned yourself being here. Mm -hmm. What did you picture, and what is it actually like? Yeah, so, I mean, even when I was in prison, I was like, you know, I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to become a world champ in the UFC. And I envisioned this, you know, and just now that it's coming true, it's so surreal and, and awesome. I'm just having a great time. Like, if you would see me in the back, I'm dancing, I'm smiling, I'm enjoying myself. I'm not trying to get all that nervous energy and all that hype because this is something I enjoy, it's something I love. And if I'm having fun, winning's fun. So when you have fun, you win. You talk about God too. How does yes. spirituality and fighting relate to each other? I mean, if it does, which I assume it does for sure. you. Oh, yeah. What does it do for you in a situation like tonight? Yeah. God just gives me peace that passes all understanding, you know. He's, he's redeemed my life. He saved me. This is a platform for me to spread his word, his kingdom, and just show that you can be in a prison cell in a foreign country, come out, and, and make your way to the top of the of one of a very hard weight class in the UFC at the highest level. So I just want uh, people to see that. And I just believe before I go out, God's will will be done. So why am I nervous? I'm just wasting energy. Go out there, perform, let his will be done, and let it all go.